Oh, oh, well, 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 welcome back. We are talking about internal versus external conflict today. Internal conflict, a struggle within the mind of a character. It could be mental or emotional. An external conflict is a struggle that occurs between a character on an outside force. Now, we're going to get a little bit of both. Okay, we're going to get a little bit of both. First, external conflict. There was a big bandage on his neck. Well, that to me, that's an external conflict. So I'm going to put that next to the external conflict. And then the code talkers all carried radios. Sounds like a pain. Sounds like they were heavy. So I'm going to say that's an external conflict too. I'm going to put that on the external conflict side. Now, I'm going to take a look at these other ones. Our FDR is gone. I started up and shouting. I Each one of us code talkers grabbed the drum and went dancing. How happy we all were and good story. I joked, right? All of those, does those represent external conflicts or internal conflicts? Remember, internal conflicts can be serious, but they can also be very light. Um, it's something to keep in mind. So if you could organize those remaining colors, they're all different, um, next to the internal conflict or the external conflict, please do so now. Oh, nice work. So you notice that all of those others were conflicts, the products of conflicts that were internal conflicts, right? States of anxiety, of despair, etc. And internal conflict is uh, sort of um, inside the head, right? Next thing I'd like you to do is please find this big event ticket. Get the ticket to the big event, please. Get the ticket to the big event. Excellent. I'd like you to take a moment and look at all the different conflicts and which of those seems most important to the story or the novel, Code Talker. Which of those seems most to be most important to the story of Code Talker? Match the big event up to that one now. All right. Well, obviously, if you can set this one aside too, and we're going to organize it so that the big event is right on number one. But just in case either that we didn't find the all agree on the big event, what were the numbers two and number three big events from the story, right? And a major event, as we discussed, is the story that is, is a piece of story that impacts the plot the most. Please take a moment now and find the second and third most important events. Excellent. Return uh, everything back and I'd like you to flip it so that the internal conflict and the external conflict are um, folded behind and that we are now only looking at the notice and wonder chart. The notice and wonder chart should be the only thing showing. Please make sure that you're doing that now. Excellent. Now, please go through all the cards, blue, pink, peach, orange, green, and, and white. And I'd like you to put them on the notice or wonder side and to use those quotes to write something that you either noticed in this chapter or wondered in this chapter, totaling up to seven total notices or seven total wonders or three notices and four wonders or four notices and three wonders, right? As long as it totals up seven, you want a good place. All right, go right ahead.